Hello, this is Music Tech Explain, the visual approach. Apple just released a brand new product, Logic Pro for iPad. Keep watching and I will tell you all about it. Welcome to Music Tech Explained the Visual Approach. My name is Edgar Rothermich, author of the best-selling book series Graphically Enhanced Manuals. In this video, I will introduce Logic Pro for iPad. Yes, Logic Pro now also runs on your iPad with the same underlying powerful engine. It provides a full round-trip workflow where you can open a Logic project on your iPad that you started on your Mac and vice versa. I will provide an introduction of the user interface and some of the new features like the Beat Breaker or Sample Alchemy. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified about exciting new videos in my Music Tech Explained YouTube channel. So let's get started with an introduction of Logic Pro for iPad and its main features. First, what is Logic Pro for iPad? Well, it is an iPad app available on the App Store that is not a scaled-down light version of Logic Pro. It is a new all-in-one professional music creation app that puts the power of Logic Pro at your fingertips. Multitouch transforms your iPad into an expressive professional instrument that you can play, create dynamic musical performances and interact naturally with controls. All the powerful Logic features are there, live loops, step sequencer, drummer, smart tempo, the full mixer, track-based automation and region-based automation, track stacks, the various editors, and all the instrument, MIDI, and audio effect plugins. You can freely exchange Logic Pro projects between your Mac and your iPad. Save a project on your Mac, send it to your iPad and open it right there. Or save a project on your iPad that you can then open on your Mac. They use the same package-based project file format. Especially AirDrop makes it super easy to quickly exchange projects between your iPad and your Mac. Logic Pro for iPad also opens any GarageBand for iOS or GarageBand for iPad projects or voice memos. In addition to the standard user guides that are available online and as PDF downloads, Logic Pro for iPad provides 22 interactive lessons that are integrated in Logic a super quick way to learn the various features and concepts in Logic Pro for iPad. You open a lesson from the browser as an individual project and an interactive instruction panel guides you through step by step. The sound library is a great GarageBand feature that comes to Logic Pro for iPad with an expanded collection of sound packs across a wide range of instruments and genres. Logic Pro for iPad provides many ways on how to interact with Logic. You can even use it as a performance tool. You use standard multi-touch gestures on your iPad to control the app with your fingers. This is very useful during mixing when moving multiple faders with all your fingers, performing in the live loop script and even play instruments on your touch screen using various play surfaces that simulate instruments. You can also use Apple Pencil to precisely draw and edit automation curves or use handwriting to name tracks and regions. Use a Bluetooth keyboard as an additional input device to control Logic with the same keyboard shortcuts you are using with Logic on your Mac. With a universal control feature on your Mac, you can use the trackpad and keyboard of your Mac to control your iPad positioned next to your computer screen. The cursor you see here on the iPad, for example, is controlled by the trackpad of my Mac when I just move the pointer beyond the screen and it shows up on my iPad. Logic Pro for iPad provides a wide variety of connectivity. You can use the internal speakers and microphones, even choose from multiple polar patterns of the five internal microphones used in the iPod Pro models. Use any core audio compatible audio interface for plug and play connectivity when using the USB-C port or the lightning port on your iPad. Use AirPlay mode to play back your song on one or multiple speakers in your house or studio.
You can also easily pair any MIDI Bluetooth device from inside the Logic Pro app. Any music app that you run on your iPad will show up as a source or destination to send MIDI messages back and forth. Logic Pro for iPad provides a virtual MIDI device for input and output that automatically appears on other music apps on your iPad. Besides MIDI 2.0, Logic Pro for iPad supports audio unit extensions, hundreds available on the App Store. It also has two new built-in plugins. The Instrument plugin Sample Alchemy lets you load any audio sample and uses the sample engine of the Alchemy software instrument to create astonishing new sounds. Beatbreaker is an exciting new audio effects plugin in the multi-effect category that lets you create stunning new effects by reordering incoming audio in real time, slicing them and affect their speed, direction and volume. In addition, you can perform the plugin in real time, perfect for creating unique EDM or hip hop style music. A new interface, the Plugins area, lets you quickly view and edit plugins on the currently selected track. It shows little mini views, the plugin tiles, containing visual feedback and essential useful controls from the larger plugin view. The details view provides the rich graphical user interface of all the controls of the plugin. The play surfaces might look familiar to GarageBand for iPad users. You can play and record your instrument tracks using any of the five multi-touch user interfaces. For example, keyboards, drum pads, fretboard, chord strips, or guitar strips. And there is one more thing. Logic Pro for iPad is subscription-based, available on the App Store as a monthly or yearly subscription with a one-month free trial. If you cancel your subscription, you can still share your existing projects. Now let's have a quick look at the user interface of Logic Pro for iPad and its key components. The Logic Pro screen has three areas that are always visible on the screen. The control bar on top is similar to Logic Pro for Mac, with the navigation controls, the LCD and various status buttons, and you can also customize what elements are displayed in the control bar. The view control bar on the bottom always shows seven buttons that correspond to seven additional views that you can show or hide when you tap those buttons. The big main area in the middle shows the track list on the left showing the track header for each track that extends into the track lanes where you place the regions. Or you can switch to live loops where each track header extends into a row of cells where you place your loops on that grid. The three buttons on the left of the view control bar show or hide the following three areas automatically reducing the size of the main view. The browser button toggles the browser that provides access to all the sounds and settings. These are patches, loops, samples, plugin presets and step sequencer patterns. Tapping the sound library button below lets you access more content to download to your iPad. This reimagined browser displays all sounds in a single location and a new predictive filtering system helps you quickly discover inspiring sounds. The Inspector button toggles the Inspector, which is almost identical to Logic Pro on the Mac, showing all the parameters of the area or object that is currently selected. That means you will see the Track Inspector, the Region Inspector, Automation Point Inspector and so on. The Inspector and the Browser share the same area, which means you can view only one or the other. The Fader button toggles an additional view showing a limited channel strip of the currently selected track. This is similar to the Inspector channel strip on the Mac. 
The three buttons in the middle of the view control bar show or hide the following three areas that will appear above the view control bar. The editors button toggles the editors area. Depending on what region is selected, it can show the audio editor, piano roll editor, step sequencer, drummer editor or cell editor. The mixer button toggles the mixer with virtually the same interface and functionality as in Logic Pro for Mac. The plugins button toggles the plugins area, which is a new interface element that is not available in Logic Pro for Mac. It lets you view and edit the plugins and aux sense of the currently selected track or the output track. The area shows a row where you can add or remove plugins. Loaded plugins are displayed as plugin tiles. Little mini views of the plugins to provide a quick overview of the existing plugin on a track with each tile having a few main controls that let you quickly adjust those plugins without opening them. You can still double tap a tile to open the details view of a plugin to access all its controls. All the way on the right of the view control bar is the play surfaces button. It shows or hides an area that opens below the view control bar and pushes everything up. This area is similar to GarageBand for iPad. It provides five different user interfaces, the so-called play surfaces, to play your instrument track using multi-touch gestures on your iPad screen. A really fun and intuitive way of playing instruments, even if you haven't learned to play a key or a string instrument. Okay, that sums it up about Logic Pro for iPad version 1.0. Check out my website for any upcoming books covering all the details about this exciting new app and any current books about Logic Pro, Pro Tools and Dolby Atmos. All the links are on my website dingdingmusic.com. Don't forget to subscribe and check the bell for notifications about exciting new videos in this Music Tech Explained YouTube channel. In addition, you can read my free Logic and Pro Tools tutorials on my website. And please explore the books in my graphically enhanced manual series. They are available in different formats, as PDFs from my website, as iBooks on the Apple Bookstore, and Kindle and printed books on Amazon. All the links are available on my website dingdingmusic.com.